Okay, in this video, I will show you guys my explanation to the famous number five equation. What is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da da da? And we all know it turned out to be negative 1 over 12. How is that even possible? And in order for me to explain that, I will have to first go over the if then statement for you guys. So, whenever you have an if then statement, this right here is called the condition, and this right here is called the conclusion. And for the condition, it can be either true or false. And for the conclusion, likewise, it can also be true or false, okay? So, let's look at this format. If we begin with something that's true, and then we're trying to conclude something that's true, then, all in all, the if then statement, we can imply that that is true, all right? Next, if we have a true condition, then, unfortunately, we are going to end up with a false conclusion. In this case, the whole thing turned out to be false, okay? Sometimes the condition can be false, so let's talk about that. If we begin with a false condition, and we want to end up, okay, the conclusion to be true right here, okay? False, then true in this situation. All in all, if you judge the whole if then statement, in fact, in this case, this is actually true. And the last thing is that if something that's false right here, then I want to conclude something that's also false. Overall, in fact, this if then statement in this situation is also true. So to make this simple, the only way for an if then statement to be false is that when you have a true condition, but a false conclusion. That's the only way to get a false if then statement, okay? And also did a video when I was in Lake Tahoe about the Spider-Man and Superman situation. So let's talk about this war problem right here, all right? And we're just gonna judge each statement and we'll see if it's true or false. First of all, I would like to tell you, I am Spider-Man. Is this true or false? If this is the only thing that I'm trying to say, well, I'm certainly not Spider-Man, otherwise I can do this, right? So if I just tell you I'm Spider-Man, you know this is definitely false, right? Next, if my statement, this is an if then statement now, says if I am Spider-Man, then you are Superman. Well, this right here was false, a false condition. And when you have a false condition, it doesn't really matter what you're trying to conclude. It can be true or false, doesn't matter, because at the end, it will be true anyway. Whenever I say, if I am Spider-Man, then I can conclude something else. It doesn't really matter what it is. Once again, judge the whole if then statement. This right here will be true, all right? Judge the whole statement, the whole thing right here, it is true. If you only judge, this part, I am Spider-Man. This right here is certainly false. I'm just a math teacher. All right, next, number three. One minus one plus one minus one plus da da da. This is equal to one half. This series, in fact, diverges. This, we cannot conclude any value for it, all right? If you say this is equal to one half, this right here is actually false, okay? Lastly, if you are just judging the if then statement. Earlier, this was just straightforward a computation. What's one minus one plus one minus one, so on, so on, so on. This, if you say it's one half, this right here is actually false. But if you are just judging the following if then statement, which it says, if this is what you have, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus da 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 equals to 1 half. Then you can say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da 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 is equal to negative 1 over 12. Seriously, if you are willing to take this for granted and you're trying to end up with this, you know this part is false by itself. But the whole thing, the whole if then statement, it's actually true. So in fact, if you look back to the number five question, that video, they begin with 
this assumption, you just really use it, take it for granted whatsoever. Use this if you're willing to have this assumption, begin with if, this right here, okay? If this, that's the condition. Then you can actually end up with this conclusion. Because once again, this right here, it's actually false. And in fact, you can conclude anything that you want, right? That is my explanation. So if you tell me just uh, what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da da da, if you just tell me that only, and you ask me if that's equal to negative 1 over 12 or not, I will tell you, no, it's not. Because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da da da, it diverges to infinity, right? But if you tell me if you have this, then you have that. Yes, I will say the whole thing it is true. Okay? So it seems like if we are crazy enough, we can conclude everything to be true. Just like that. Anyway, that is it. Hopefully, this video doesn't cause a lot of arguing or whatsoever in the comment section. But anyway, bye.